Hello guys, let's talk today about how to create a VLAN on the Netgear switch. Here I have the Netgear Pro Safe GS108PE. It's a switch with PoE ports. As you can see, I have the port number one connected to my camera using this Ethernet cable. So basically the switch is powering the camera via power over Ethernet, okay? And the port number eight is connected to my router. And then I have my computer also connected to my router. Let's take a look here at the diagram that I have so you can understand better. So here I have the switch with eight ports. The port number one is connected to the IP camera. That's the IP of the camera. And then I have the port number eight connected to my router. And I also have my laptop connected to the same router. So the laptop can check the camera, can see the camera live. As you can see here, I have the software that shows the camera, okay? So basically here, I have the camera pointing to the Avengers back there, and you can see it via the laptop, all right? Because I have this software. And then back here to the diagram, you see that I have the VLAN ports. The VLAN one has all the ports, which is basic for a switch. The switch comes with the VLAN one with the all ports, all right? So I have the port number one and eight and the same VLAN at first, the VLAN number one, and then they can communicate. So that's the reason I can't have my laptop connecting to the camera, right? If I use this command prompt here, I can check, for example, uh, the IP of my computer, which is uh, 0 0.20, as you can see here, right? And I can send a ping from uh, my computer to the camera. So here we go. The camera has the IP223 minus T to keep pinging. And you see that's pinging, right? So it's responding from the camera. So now that I have this, let's just start playing with the VLAN. So basically here I have the VLAN number one, which has all the ports. You're gonna see that in a while uh, when uh, you manage the switch, okay? And then we are going to create a VLAN number two with ports number one and eight. Those ports that have the camera and the router, right? So let's do that. Uh, first, what I have to do is just bring the software that manages the, the switch. That's the Netgear Pro Safe Plus configuration utility. So here, what I can do is just connect to the switch. Here we go. The GS108PE V3, okay, version three. It found it in the network. So I select here. You see the D4IP of the switch. It's just right here. When I click apply, it asks for the password. Let me just log in here. Here we go. So as you can see, I have the port number one up because I have here port number one with the camera connected to it. And then I have port number eight also up. That's the port number eight because I have the cable here to the router, okay? Back here on the physical connection, as you can see, port number one connected to the camera and port number eight connected to my router, okay? Pretty good. And let's come here to the VLANs. And here I have the VLAN enabled. And here in Advanced, I can see the VLAN identifier, VLAN number one. It has all the ports. You see port one through eight, all tagged. So basically, they are all in the same VLAN. If I come here to the VLAN number two, I don't have any ports associated to this VLAN, okay? So what I have to do now is just test the VLAN one, for example, when I come here, I'm going to untag the port number one, which means the IP camera that's connected to the port number one will be no longer be part of the VLAN number one. So I click here and I apply. Let's take a look here at uh, the pink. So we see the request. I have a, a timeout. So basically the laptop can't ping the camera anymore because they are not in the same VLAN, all right? If I take a look here in the VLAN membership, I can see the VLAN number one. That's the only one that I have right now working. And the port members are from two to eight. So I don't have the port one as a part of the VLAN one anymore. That's why I can't ping the camera. If I try to see the camera here, 
you see that the clock is not longer working. If I move my hand in front of the camera, you see there is no motion. This is just a static image. The last image that the camera was seeing, right? So it's not connecting anymore. You see here, camera trying to connect. So it's basically not working right now. And I can also, I can't ping the camera anymore, right? So let's just come back here to the VLAN configuration. And now come here to VLAN identifier 02 and put the number one, port number one and port number eight as part of the same VLAN. Why? Because I have here port one and eight for the camera and the router. I need those two ports in the same VLAN. Then I apply here. I wait for a while. And here we go. It's pinging again. So from the laptop to the camera, if I come here to the VLAN membership, I see the VLAN number two with ports number one and eight. Uh, port number eight is still part of the VLAN number one, but doesn't matter. As long as I have here on the VLAN two, the two ports, I'm good to go, all right? And when I come here to the camera, I see the clock is running again. If I move my hand in front of the camera, it takes a while because of the latency of the camera. Here we go, but it's basically working pretty good, right? So back here to that, to that diagram, so you see that's working. And I have now the port number the number two, uh, the VLAN number two, sorry, as part of the switch with port number one and port number two. So it's basically working, okay? So it's pretty easy to create VLANs like this on this Netgear switch, okay? So now you know how to create a VLAN on your Netgear switch, the GS108PE, this is the version three, all right? I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.